गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज बड़ी स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व इन मेटेलर्जिकल प्रोसेस वी लर्न मेटेलर्जी द टर्म मेटेलर्जी आर रिपीट इट इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ एक्सट्रैक्टिंग द मेटल्स फ्रॉम द ओर्स इज कॉल्ड मेटेलर्जी द मेटेलर्जिकल प्रोसेस वुड नेसेसरिली डिफेंड अपॉन the nature of the ore which is to be worked out for the extraction of the metal for example heavy metal heavy metal such as copper iron zinc lead tin etc are extracted from their ores by the conventional roasting and smelting the active metals that is the alkali metals magnesium calcium etc can be extracted by the electrolysis of their chlorides and hydroxides oxides of hydroxides in few state and the noble metals such as silver and gold are obtained by the amalgamation or shannite process the next is various steps involved in the metallurgical processes the various steps essentially involved in the extraction of the pure metals from their respective ores are as follows number 1 concentration of ore number 2 calcination roasting smelting and refining of metals number 1 concentration of the ore metallic ores are often found with gangu that means metallic ores are often found mixed with rocky material for example quartz feldspar mica and other silicates these impurities are known as gangu before the ore is subjected to metallurgical process it is necessary to remove these unwanted impurities mechanically this operation is known as concentration of the ore the common methods of concentration are as follows number 1 hand picking gravity separation magnetic separation electrostatic separation flotation flot process and leasing <clears throat> number 1 hand picking hand picking the ore is separated from the main stock in a sufficient degree of purity by simply picking it by hand and then eliminating the adhering rocky material by breaking with hammer by breaking with hammer then the next is gravity separation gravity separation the heavy metal in this case the ore is uh, the ore is crushed and grind and is was with a running stream of water the heavy ore are settles down and while the lighter are the material that is the impurities is was away then the next is magnetic separation ferromagnetic ores that is iron ore are affected by the magnet from the non magnetic Uh, are affected by a magnet and are separated from the non magnetic impurities by means of this magnetic separation then the next is uh, then the next is electrostatic separation electrostatic separation in this method the particles which are good conductors of electricity become electrically charged as soon as they are brought into an electrostatic field and are consequently repelled by the electrode carrying the like charges galena and zinc blende are 
uh, Galena and Jim Blandy, which occur together in nature, are separated by Deer's technique. The next one is fruit flotation. Deer's process is based on the principle of preferential weighting of solids by liquids. In this case, metallic sulfide are weighted by a certain oils like pine oil, like uh, pine oil but not by water. The finely divided ore is put in water to which a small quantity of oil has been added. The water is agitated violently as shown in figure 1 when throat is formed. When throat is formed at the air water interface. The ore which is preferentially wetted by the oil rises, the, rises to the surface along with the foam while the stony matter which is preferentially wetted by water remains in the water below the foam as shown in figure. The foam separates out and in due course settles down and this process is called fraud flotation process. The next process is leaching. In this case, in this method, the powdered ore is treated with some suitable reagent which may dissolve the ore and not the impurities. The impurities are filtered off and the ore is recovered from <coughs> sorry from the solution by suitable chemical methods. <clears throat> For example, during the extraction of aluminum from bauxite, the finely powdered divided ore is treated with hot sodium hydroxide solution. Alumina present in the ore dissolves forming sodium meta aluminate but impurities are left behind as such and are filtered off. Then one of the steps of metallurgical process is calcination. In, the, in this process the ore is heated in a limited supply of air at a temperature insufficient to melt it. During calcination, organic matter, volatile impurities, moisture present in the ore are expelled. And the remaining mass, the remaining mass, ore porous, that is the uh, mass becomes porous. Then uh, the remaining mass becomes porous. Calcination is also done to remove water from hydrated oxide ores and carbon dioxide from a carbonate ore. Then another example is lime, when limestone is heated. When limestone is heated, carbon dioxide is given off and limestone is said to be calcined. Water is removed and anhydrous alumina is formed. When bauxite is calcined, water is removed and anhydrous uh, is left behind. Similarly, iron ores on calcination give anhydrous iron oxide like this. Calcination is generally done in a reverberatory furnace. Then the third step is roasting. In this process, sulfite ore, either alone or with the addition of other materials, are subjected to the action of heat. 
in the presence of air at temperature well below their melting point in order to bring about their oxidation and the reaction occurs such as follows sometimes during roasting oxidation of sulfide takes place only upon sulfates for example zinc sulfide is oxidized to zinc sulfate and lead sulfide is oxidized to lead sulfate during roasting the non volatile impurities like sulfur argon phosphorus etc are removed in the form of their volatile oxide which escape as gases through the chimney roasting is carried out either in a reverberatory furnace or in a blast furnace this is blast furnace in a reverberatory furnace the charge is placed the charge is placed on the hard and heated by the flames deflected from its roof reverberatory furnace is used in roasting the ores of copper tin lead etc blast furnace is a long vertical furnace made of steel plates lined inside the inside with fire clay bricks it is provided with an arrangement for blowing in air near the base near the base as shown in figure it is also provided with a hole for removing the slag for removing the slag and a tapping hole for taking out of the metal these are the body steps involved uh, of metallurgical process